some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to New York City with Brooklyn Audits as he once again decides to go into a police department to film and he is once again arrested. This guy just doesn't seem to learn. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem to understand that uh, police departments are not exactly the best place to film considering, you know what, wiretapping laws and everything like that that might be coming into play uh victims that might come in there that don't want to be on camera uh that kind of thing but you know what these frauditors really don't care about that they just want to get arrested and uh get clicks and views they only really think in the short term. They don't exactly think in the long term. What will I do when I come to retirement age? What will I have in store for me at that time? Will I be able to retire at all because of my criminal record? That kind of thing. Oh, well, they're not exactly known for being critical thinkers. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ah, come on, dirty ass windows. Yo, what is up with my light, man? I can't fix my light. What the fuck is going on here? What the f Whoa. Wow, don't tell me my flashlight just crapped out on me right now. All right, so here we are. We at Midtown South. Can I get a complaint form? Yeah, you can get a complaint form. You can get a film. You can film outside of the precinct. Why? I'm in the lobby right here. There's a lobby though. Yeah, I want to get signs right there. So the entire facility. Come on, right. you know that sign is not, it's not, it's, it's policy, it's not a law though. I didn't write, I didn't write it, huh? I step outside. Well, I'll tell you something, dude. I'll tell you what is a law, uh, New York's wiretapping law, which makes it illegal for, uh, communications, especially electronic ones, to be intercepted by anything. And seeing as how you have a device that can, uh, intercept electronic communications and has the ability to record them, then you would definitely be committing a felony in this side, this uh, police department. Should you accidentally overhear a call or a uh, communication with a witness or lawyer, that's not exactly meant to be heard by other people, especially in cases of attorney-client privilege. But seeing as how you frauditors uh, really have no forward-thinking skills whatsoever and only think of the here and now, you're putting yourself in a lot of uh, legal peril by doing this kind of thing. But go ahead with your stupidity. I'm not going to stop you if you want to uh, throw your life away. That would just be one more moron off the streets. But that's yeah. not a law. That's a policy. You know, yeah, my yeah. I'm allowed Sorry, to listen, film. I'll tell you right it's now. a lobby, though. This is look. You, you see how it's locked off, though, right? You can argue it all you want. We won't be able to help you. Unless wow. You why is there so many cops coming at me right now? Damn. You, you, you guys are coming in hot right now. Why? So but what need, am I doing wrong? Am I, am I am I committing a crime right now? Yes, sir. I'm gonna tell you what. Cap. What's up? Are you a lieutenant? Yeah, I'm a lieutenant. You can't get me. I'm gonna leave. You won't have to leave. 
Yeah. If not, you're going to be placed under arrest for trespass. Understood? You're going to put me under arrest for yes. trespassing? So you're yes. trying to arrest yes. me? Yes, yes. All right, Hernandez, you want to try to arrest me? Okay, so am I allowed to stand right here? Am I allowed to stand right Oh, you almost pushed me down the stairs, I bro. Chill. Oh, I'm 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 but, dude, I'm on the public. I'm in public, you though. Why, Yo, Hernandez, why you got to push me like that, bro? Yo, you almost made me fall down the stairs, bro. You're pushing me back, bro. That's not cool. Put him under arrest. You don't mind. Why are you putting me under arrest for? What are you talking about? Stop. I'm under arrest. Bro, I'm on the public sidewalk. Are you talking about? I'm on the public sidewalk. Yo, you guys are bugging, bro. Yo, I backed up. You almost pushed me down the stairs, bro. We actually leave multiple times. And what did I do? I backed up and I got off the stairs. He was charged with trespassing and released a few hours later, and he had a little bit of a rant afterwards that I'm going to show you right quick, where he says a few stupid things. So let's go ahead and get into that. Hook right now. They done messed up, pal. You know you can't violate someone's rights like that, especially Hernandez. No, that's not cool, man. Come on, bro. You know that's not cool. You know you can't arrest me if I'm standing on a public sidewalk. Look, I'm standing here right now, right in front of the precinct. I'm not getting arrested, right? Obviously, I'm not breaking a, the law. Well, first of all, there's the possibility that you could eventually break the wiretap law, which would definitely be a felony on your part, so you might want to be careful on that. Reconsider your future, buddy. Second of all, you were committing a crime by trespassing on their property, uh, because they did ask you to leave, and you refused to do so. And despite what you may say, uh, you can be trespassed from any property in the United States, no matter what it is. I mean, it happens all the time. How many times has it happened to you, my friend? I mean, you just don't learn anything, do you? You're not that bright of an individual. To break the law, there's got to be a victim, right? Oh, now, here we go. Here we go with the, uh, there must be a victim to be a crime fallacy. You are incorrect, dude. Traffic violations are considered to be crimes, but they are very minor crimes. But there's not really a victim involved at all. They are just violations of the law. So could you please stop using that outdated fallatial reasoning uh, right there? Because it's just going to continue to make you look like an ignoramus who has absolutely no clue as to how things actually work. But please carry on with your inane argument that proves absolutely nothing other than that you are a complete moron. Who was the victim? I was a victim. I was a victim of this precinct right now. That's what it basically comes down to. I was the victim. Am I right though, right? To, to break the law, you know, a crime, to be arrested, there's got to be a victim. Who's the victim on trespassing? <laughs> I'm the victim here. All right, I am just going to stop it right here because the video carries on for another three hours. And there's just so much he says that's just so damn stupid that I'm not going to be able to confine it to a single video, nor do I even want to do it uh, on the grounds that there are so many other topics to cover. But you guys do get the point that this guy is a complete moron. Just by this one line of reasoning right here. Just by this one example. And to top it all off, he's playing the victim card as if he's the one that's been victimized this whole time. Well, dude, you're the one who walked in there to stir up trouble and you ended up getting what was coming to you. So uh, don't act like the victim when you were actually the cause of the trouble. I mean, that's just pathetic. Well, anyway, I'm just going to stop the video right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.